Hello everyone you are listening to VIT Community Radio 90.8 FM and this is a very special show sent artists on air and this is me Himanshu Mangani along with Shravya Karra as usual our jodi is back right Himanshu yeah perfect so now as you know that Rivera 2017 will be started from tomorrow and we have a wonderful couple over here sitting in front of us who has helped us a lot in making this campus beautiful by demonstrating particular kind of sand artist work which is marvelous in its own by making sculptures of lion and, and? our sponsor cadbury dairy milk so in that case we feel heartfelt now and we pay our divine gratitude to these two people over here so they are none other than remy and paul remy and paul we welcome you on vit community radio 90.8 fm but hold on hold on as today is a special day for remy it's remy's happy birthday and paul sir can you please tell how much how uh, he uh, she is uh, uh, how many years old now My beautiful wife Remy is 46 years young today. Young today that's a wonderful word. <laughs> so So just to all the listeners out there Remy does not at all look like 46. She looks like 25. Yeah, perfect I must say. And the secret to her beauty and fitness is yoga. That was what I got to know from her right now, right Remy? Yes. So yes, every day yeah so now to make your day special we have one singer with us ronak so ronak can you please sing a birthday song for her hi ma yeah so on this special occasion i'll like to sing a birthday song for ma so here it goes happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Remy ma'am. Happy birthday to you. Have a long life to you. Have a long life to you. Have a long life, dear Remy ma'am. Happy birthday to you. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Amazing Ronak. Thank you so much Ronak. So Remy ma'am, once again a very very happy birthday and thank you so much for spending some time with us. It's great. I've been uh, receiving so many congratulations today. It's it's been a wonderful day. Thank you. Okay sir, Paul sir, what about you means how are you feeling right now? I f- I'm very happy to be in uh, Velour at the VIT. It's a great honor and also a great pleasure to uh, to be here and to share our gift and our knowledge of sand art with uh, the students of VIT. Again, a great pleasure and an honor. Uh, Nandri for inviting us. So I've seen your art, they're actually amazing. So, yeah, the first question is first. So how is India? Uh, Mother India. Uh, I first came to India in 1991 and while I was in India in 91 I sat on the beach in Goa and did what all children do I played with the sand and after one hour under my hand Lord Shiva's face appeared in the sand this was my very first sand sculpture and here I am 26 years later back in Mother India teaching sand art to the students of VIT That's, That's wonderful. Really wonderful to know. So sir like uh, you just said that uh, the first uh, sculpture that came was Lord Shiva. Yeah. So was that the only inspiration so what exactly inspired you to come into this field? There was no inspiration. The last thing I wanted was a career. All I wanted to do was follow my passion. At the time my greatest passion was travel to experience uh, new cultures and to meet people of uh, different countries. It really was I was as shocked as anybody because I didn't I didn't think I had talent for sculpture or for art. All I can say is that the first time I sat on the beach I relaxed so much I played. I had no idea. I I see uh, Sanda as a gift from the gods. 
That's wonderful. That's amazing. Now, Rami, ma'am, how you get into the scent art, um, scent work? Um, actually, I was in university, very much like this university, but then in Delft, in Holland, and I studied industrial design. Industrial and design. That's yeah, amazing. <laughs> I know. It you started it up just yes this year, but this was 24 years ago, and uh, they had an art festival, very much like Li Riviera. And I uh, joined and I did a workshop in uh, sculpting butter. And the people who gave the workshop, they were scent artists. And okay. And got into scent sculpture. So <laughs> listeners, if you're listening right now, make sure it's not what you're pursuing. You should pursue your passion. Although you're graduating with a different field, but there is not something like this that will bound you. If you have a passion and you're good in something, then proceed with this kind of stuff. A wonderful message being passed by Rami Ma'am. Don't you think, Shravya? Exactly. You know, everyone keeps on saying, follow your heart, follow your passion. You know, we actually have two live examples right in front of us. So, okay, I might be getting a little bit personal, but uh, it would be amazing if you guys share your story. Like, how did you guys meet? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I was working uh, as a sand artist uh, and I was working on a big project in Belgium where the biggest sculpture was over 60 feet high. Hi. And also at this event was Sri uh, Sudhasan Patnaik, the famous Indian sand artist, a very dear friend of uh, Remy and uh, mine. And one day I saw a beautiful sand artist walk by, beautiful blonde, beautiful, and I thought, oh my golly, <laughs> what a beautiful lady. What I didn't know was for three days she followed me around. I didn't know this. And after three days she said, I stopped following you. And then I started to follow Madam and love blossomed in the sand on Blankenberg in Belgium. And we have been inseparable ever since. Yeah, we can see that ma'am is holding your hand now also, so you are inseparable. <laughs> that is a really sweet story. Thank you so much for sharing. <laughs> Okay, back to the you know the the, the stupid questions. Okay, I th it might be sounding stupid for you guys, but how's the food over here? I love Indian cuisine. Oh, I, mean. I really, really, uh, I'm a big fan of uh, aloo gobi, and uh, and and, and Mam's favorite is. And actually, when we're at home, we cook Indian food also. It's uh, every week uh, I will say to Madam, would you like a vegetable curry? And I will make, or I'll make biryani. Because the food is so tasty in India. We, we love it so much. That's wonderful. Now, another question which we would like to ask, since you are sand artists, okay. So what comes to you when you just touch the sand? Well, every single time we do a, a sand project the first thing we do is we take up a handful of sand and we add a little bit of water and we test to see the strength every sand has strength or, or its weakness and the, the the master sand artist can determine exactly what is possible just with a handful of sand okay that's wonderful do you have any questions Shravya? No, one big question because I just googled up Bulgarian sand art and the first thing that came into my mind as well as on Google was the Bulgarian uh, sand art competition. Uh, well, actually, I'm not Bulgarian. I'm from England. We, we have, a, we, we have a, a farm in Bulgaria where we live, where we go. When we're not traveling the world, uh, uh, exhibiting our sand art, we, uh, we, we, we stay on our farm where we grow our own food uh, we have our own chickens. Uh, Madam has her own garden. Uh, it's just our base where we can recharge our batteries when we're not performing our art. Because our our art takes us all over the world. Uh, after we leave VIT, we shall fly directly to Texas in America and we will build a life-size sculpture of running horses. Uh, after this sculpture, uh, also we will be going to Taiwan this year. Kuwait, Canada, we travel all over the world. Sand artist is, is growing globally as a global phenomena. People love sand sculpture. People love to watch the artist perform. Uh, 25 years ago when I started, there was a handful of people in the world making sand sculptures. And now there is hundreds of sand artists. It's very popular. 
Okay, so sir, uh, how you came to VIT? Because uh, you told that, uh, as I have interacted with them before, they told that in India it's just the only college, well, or institute of technology that they have come for workshop. So how VIT people approached you for this? The VIT approached us and uh, uh, six years ago, and we we said we really want to come and teach, uh, but uh, we don't want to take money for our uh, work. Because this is a passion, so we we asked the uh, the faculty if the the money that we should earn from our work be put into a bank account, uh, let the bank account grow a little bit, and then in the future, if anybody has a problem with their uh, with paying for their education, uh, that the the fund be used to help. Last year we received the very good news that one of the VIT students was able to finish his study uh, with the help of uh, the sand artist Remy and Paul uh, fund. So when we plant seeds and we see beautiful things grow, we're only encouraged to come back and plant more seeds. Wonderful thing you have told, sir. We must appreciate him for this. <laughs> and madam, of course, and my beautiful madam. wife. Yeah. Mom, one question for you. Like, uh, sir was just mentioning about your little farm and, a little, and your own little world in Bulgaria, right? Mm -hmm. So, how, like, do you feel that anything is like anything else can be added over there? In Bulgaria? Yes. Well, I'm uh, working on I'm doing a per permaculture uh, garden, okay. which is all with natural uh, elements. I don't use poison and things, and I uh, uh, enrich the soil with... Um, mulch and things like that and I have incredible crops doing that so I get uh, a lot of uh, big vegetables and we eat our own vegetables and it's part of our regime to stay healthy oh that's great and you make Indian cuisine and vegetable curries and biryanis yes. with that vegetable well, absolutely <laughs> and herbs that we bring from India that's amazing and so mom at uh, you also practice yoga, right? Yes. So, uh, how did you get yoga into your regime? Uh, we were in India. I was for the first time in India. Mm -hmm. And it was during the tsunami. And um, uh, Paul hurt his back. Oh. And then I uh, took him to a yoga class when he could walk again. And we did it for 11 weeks every 11 day. Weeks. And it uh, healed his back. It uh, transformed us both, actually. Yeah. And after 11 weeks, you have a routine. You have a, an, uh, yeah, it's part of your daily After that you do. anything okay. that you practice for more than three months, be it, up to three months, it's a habit. After three months, it becomes a lifestyle. So I would say, whatever your passion is, hang in there for three months to keep the mind healthy, and to keep the, the mind creative and the in, intuition flowing, we must also have a strong body. Okay, sir, so we'll continue our passion of talking with you after a small break because there will be a one particular kind of surprise for you. So that surprise will be given after break. So we should go for a break now. Hello, listeners. You are listening to VIT Community Radio 90.8 FM. And this has been a special broadcast. That is, we have our sand artists on air, Remy and Paul, who, who have been spending a wonderful time in India. Is that right? Absolutely. Yes, incredible India. And have even learned some amazing words like... Nandri, Anna, Akka, <laughs> <laughs> Pani, okay. Pani, and Red. And yes. what was that something uh, you were just telling me when you were about to bargain? I bought her manga high. <laughs> yeah, bought manga. That's their version of bought manga. So, Remy and Paul, we have uh, one of our friends online with us. So, hi, Vasu. Yeah, hi. Hi, friends. Uh, I'm a really very big fan of yours. I'm right now standing in front of this uh, lion that you guys made. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so, so yeah, so I had basically two questions that I wanted to ask you. Uh, one being, uh, why did you make this lion? That's my first question. We made the lion because we think it truly represents the Indian nation. The lion, as you can see, is big and powerful, but is very calm and gentle. So you yes. don't want to poke a stick at the lion because otherwise it might become it might become aggressive. So. This is why we made the lion, because it's a symbol of power and courage. Wow, this is really amazing, Re really nice to know that. Uh, can I ask you another question? Uh, what, what did you name the lion exactly? Well, what is his name? 
Well, because the lion is uh, is is very courageous and very big and powerful, uh, his name is uh, Muddy. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> okay. okay, amazing, amazing. <laughs> I, I'm really glad to know that. Okay, thank you, Vasu, for joining on VIT Community Radio 90.8 FM. Okay, thank you. Oh, you answered very nicely, I must say, those questions, huh? Why did you make lion? And what the name did you give to lion? So it's wonderful. So moving on, I have another thing for you, okay? Actually, one of my friend, Pranshu Chaudhary, he's, uh, he was just willing to meet you people, okay? But since VIT Community Radio 90.8 FM gives opportunity to every student who is there in the campus to connect with those persons who, whom they want to. So actually, he had some one question. You made lion, you made so many things, but any wild thing have you made so far which comes like uh, to prevent wildlife or something like this related to trees or something? So can, when you just give the answer, just say hello Pranshu Chaudhary and then proceed with the answer of him. Hello. Um. <laughs> <laughs> hello Pranshu and uh, Annie. <laughs> okay, ma'am, it's hello Pranshu Chaudhary. Hello Pranshu Adri. Uh, we have made a sculpture about uh, a big ape uh, in Florida and it was all about uh, the destruction of habitats because the, the, they chopped the forest down and then they, they, the big apes don't have a home to live in anymore, the big orangutans. So that was one sculpture about wildlife that we made recently. We, we did a whole series of uh, orangutan sculptures to where to uh, raise awareness for the plight of our our brother orangutans. We also have made a uh, life-size elephants. We made an elephant in Orissa a few years ago, and the elephant was lying down as if he was dying because at the time elephants were choking on plastic bags. So if we can uh, raise awareness uh, for nature with our sand sculptures, we we do that every time because it's. A a great medium uh, to make people aware that's actually amazing sir uh, sir and ma'am one question for both of you like uh, have you always uh, been making all these sculptures together we started off separately and then when we met each other in 2003 that is when we uh, started to work together but we uh, also do, uh, we enter competitions and we do doubles and solo sculptures. Okay, that's, that's really good. Nice. So, ma'am, what according to both of you was your best, like what was your masterpiece? Yeah, masterpiece. We've uh, we've been accused of making uh, several masterpieces. I I think if you uh, if you look on our Facebook site sandartist.com on Facebook, you will see a 20 foot high by 60 foot sculpture of life size elephants marching through the jungle uh, to where the elephant graveyard is uh, and it's all crafted from sand it took us five weeks to complete and this was in uh, in kuwait in the middle east so this uh, this is uh, what people say is our true masterpiece so listeners if you want to see that masterpiece then just go to facebook type sandartists.com and you can Sa see that sculpture sandartist.com and of course, you can also see it on our website, which is sandartist.com. Okay. Most of our work is uh, is has a message. Okay. And so, since today is 1st February 2017, okay. So, on this 1st February 2017, wonderful lady, Indian lady, Kalpana Chawla, went for a mission to Colombia, but didn't return back. Okay. So, if there comes an opportunity for you, so as to give a tribute, to that astronaut, Indian astronaut, then what will you make? We would uh, probably uh, we would make something uh, a, a very powerful sculpture of her in her in her in her space suit. So, space suit. Space yeah, suit. But without the helmet, so that you can see that uh, that the uh, the lady had power. We just had, we just get, to, we just got to interact with Remy and Paul. Yeah, and we got to know that how they just, uh, me, uh, how they just meet, and moreover, what they made, and the website which they told sandartist.com. Sand so wonderful website it is. So listeners, if you want to learn more about sculptures, sand sculptures, then just go to sandartist.com. Or even better, register and attend their workshop in the coming upcoming four days. Yeah, upcoming four days. So Remy and Paul, it was wonderful again talking to you, and we think that you will enjoy Rivera Vit Rivera. 
2017. So this was me, Himanshu Mangani, and this is Shravya Kara, and this was a special broadcast that for is for the show Sand Artists Artist on Air. Air. And keep listening to VIT Community Radio 90.8 FM.